Our friend Chris Croner from Oakland is coming to visit us. Chris is a big time chef, has his own restaurant, Croner Burger and Henry's in Oakland, California. Chris makes a really, really amazing burger. We both had it and we want to take his idea of dry aging at home and apply it to the meats that we get here at the shop. So we're gonna go out to Bensonhurst, buy a fridge off a guy, and then we're gonna age it. Chris is gonna come out here, we're gonna cook it. Have you thought at all about what we're supposed to do with this once the shoot's over? Nope, I haven't gone that far. We are in our office. It's new, so don't judge us for not having everything in order yet. You can be impressed, it's okay. But it means we have plenty of room for this little guy right here. Not, I'm talking about the fridge. Not, there's plenty of room for me too. There is room for you too. Our buddy Chris says we gotta clean it. Yep. So let's sanitize this and then obviously put a bunch of expensive meat in it. This fridge uh, we got online and cost 80 bucks, which we're gonna be dry aging at home. 80 bucks is a pretty good deal to start making like your own uh, burger blends, dry aging your own steaks. The reason we chose the cuts that we have the shore we chose because of obvious reasons, we have a lot of fat here. The chuck we're throwing in because it's closer to the neck. You get a lot of muscle density, which means you get a lot of flavor packed into those muscles. Most burger blends do have chuck in them. Good mix between the chuck, the short rib. So the New York strip we wanna do because we also have a lot of New York strips aging at the butcher shop. I think this is gonna be a direct comparison. We'll be able to see what a 10 day versus a 30 day really looks like so we'll have a control for our whole experiment as our friend chris has told us you know can you do this in your fridge at home yeah but your fridge at home are, already has a whole bunch of other stuff in it so if you're gonna do this you want to dedicate the fridge to just meat so that's why you know our 80 dollars investment seems pretty pretty worthwhile just doing that we have a little fan move the air that should be it let's see how it goes okay chris Welcome to our weird empty office. So beautiful. You guys ready for this? Do it. That's an adorable fan. Isn't it? So that is really dry, holy shit. I'm pretty stoked about this, what do you think? That is super clean. There doesn't look to be any exterior mold. I think they look great. These got really dry. So here's a question. Um, why did we do this? So we had the idea to just figure out like an inexpensive solution that someone could easily do at home that was like totally controllable. We found that like with the freezer element in the mini fridge, there is some humidity. And then with the addition of a little desk fan, like, you know, the most important thing is rapidly circulating air to get that crust quickly to prevent bacterial infiltration, to control the dehydration process. We're gonna grab this, take it across the street to the shop, try some steaks and make some burgers. All right, let's do it. Since we dry aged at home, we should keep this also home cook friendly and uh, maybe not use our grinder that we have because of our butcher shop. I mean, hand cutting burger is something you do. It is. So do you want to take making the mix for the chuck and short rib? Do you think this is enough fat? Definitely. So we uh, have about 30% fat in our grind. That ratio should work out pretty well. Brian, you want to debone that and we can start making the, the burger mix? Sure. All right, burger guy. Want to make some burgers? Sure. I'm going to let you do it. Uh, so since we're just going to eyeball it. Okay. We're eyeballing? Uh, let's eyeball it. Yeah, looks great. Yeah. 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 Perfect. How much do we want to work this or not? I really just work it until it's combined. You know, very little. I mean, it's because it's hand chopped, it doesn't combine as easily as when it's ground. Sure. I mean, you really just want to disperse the fat as evenly as possible. That looks like a very, very good burger. Like, I love seeing the dry bits. I love seeing all that fat. You may look at that and say, like, that's a lot of fat, but you, people should remember, like, a lot of that is going to render off, so you want to have a little bit extra so that it stays juicy. It's also nice in the hand-cut version that you, I mean, you still get some of the texture of the fat as well. Yeah.
Well, that is a that is a crust. I mean, that's another like benefit of the dry aging process. With that reduced moisture, it, it absolutely contributes to the quality of the caramelization that you get. Wow, that is incredible. And in the hand cut version, you really get so much amazing texture. Got some uh, really nice exterior caramelization. That is holy beautiful. moly. <laughs> you guys hungry? Yes. What do you guys think of that texture in the hand cut version? That's awesome. I mean, it's super steaky. Yeah. I love the texture. How do you feel about it coming from a DIY uh, creep fridge? I think it's so good. Yeah. Texture's great. Fat ratio's great. Caramelization's good. I mean, this aged chuck is is absolutely delicious. Yeah. And do you, I mean, do you notice the exterior pieces? A little bit. Especially the ones that were on the outside are actually like fried. So they're actually like, the dryness now is just like a nice crunch. Just like, I don't know, those are little flavor bombs. That's a better burger than I would say you would get in like 90% of restaurants. Absolutely. Like right, right off the rip. Mm -hmm. Do it at home. Yeah. We took 10 days in our fridge to age this. We spent $80 on the internet buying a fridge from a stranger. Other than that, it's a bun, some mayonnaise, some onion, and a little bit of like time. I'd say a lifetime of memories. Mm, it's true. Wow. I'm kind of I'm kind of blown away at how well that worked. I did not expect to learn this much today. Chris, dry aging you can believe in? <laughs> dry aging we can believe in. For more episodes of Primetime, click here.